Welcome back. I'm so happy you're joining me again for another video and if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you and thanks for joining our community. I'm Lucy, your narrator. Before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please kindly take a moment right now and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be alerted of every time I upload a new video. And also please watch this video to the end to see the preview trailer and some behind the scenes photos. Baby Doll is a subscriber requested movie. Anita Richmond, one of my subscribers, requested I do a video on this movie. But I do have to first put a caution out there. If you haven't already seen this movie, please know it does have adult only content. This is a drama movie that was directed by Aaliyah Kazan and the screenplay was by Tennessee Williams. It was nominated for four Oscars. It was released in the USA in 1956 and it stars Carl Malden and Carol Baker. And some of their co-stars were Eli Wallach, Mildred Dunnick, Madeline Sherwood and others. The movie is about an immature child bride holds her anxious husband at bay while flirting with an amorous Sicilian farmer. And now for some behind the scenes trivia and tidbits. This was the feature film debut of Eli Wallach and Rip Torn. And the working titles of this film were 27 Wagon Loads of Cotton and Mississippi Woman. In her autobiography, Carol Baker reports that on her last day of shooting, Aaliyah Kazan offered to change the film's title from Mississippi Woman to Baby Doll, her character's name, as a present to her. Tennessee Williams' first choice for the title role was Marilyn Monroe, who was straining to improve herself as an actress at the time and wanted the role badly. But Aaliyah Kazan preferred newcomer Carol Baker, whose work he was familiar with from the actor's studio in New York. According to Baker's autobiography, Monroe acted as an Elcherette at the premiere, which was a benefit for the actor's studio. And when this film was released in 1956, it was enormously controversial for its extremely risque subject matter. The Catholic Legion of Decency condemned the film for its carnal suggestiveness. Cardinal Spellman Francis J. condemned the film in a stunning attack from the pulpit of St. Patrick's Cathedral two days before the film opened. He said that the film had been responsibly judged to be evil in concept and would exert an immoral and corrupting influence on those who see it. He exhorted all Catholics to refrain from patronizing the film under pain of sin. Cardinal Spellman's condemnation of the film led to the Legion of Decency's first ever nationwide boycott of an American-made major studio film. And all over the country, almost 20 million Catholics protested the film and picketed theaters that showed it. The Catholic boycott nearly killed the film. It was canceled by 77% of theaters scheduled to show it and made a meager $600,000 at the box office. The film was also condemned by Time Magazine, which called it the dirtiest American-made motion picture that had ever been legally exhibited. Surprisingly, despite the film's sordid elements, the Production Code Administration gave it a seal of approval, but only after nearly a year of arguments. This was one of many examples of how the lax attitude of new code official Jeffrey Sherlock, the successor at the PCA to the strict Catholic militant Joseph Breen, would lead to a schism with the Legion of Decency and to the PCA's own downfall over the next few years. After this film, the PCA drifted farther and farther away from its traditional guidelines until it was replaced by the MPAA rating system in 1968. 
and a plantation house built in 1848 and known as Old Burra's Place was used in the film. According to Carol Baker's autobiography, Alia Kazan had each actor choose props for the house to reflect his or her character's personality. And Alia Kazan hired identical twin brothers Richard Schalbert and Paul Schalbert, born April 16, 1928, as his scenic designers and art directors. They shared the film's art director credit. The Silbert twins had primarily been working in New York City live television as IATSE number 829 scenic designers and set decorators. They had Kazan hire their fellow New York City CBS television studio set decorator Gene Callahan who joined Kazan and the Silver Twins in Benoit, Mississippi to scout locations and prep the film's primary plantation house location. Consulting and working with Kazan, Gene and the Silver Twins shared their film designing duties. Originally from Louisiana, Callahan seemed the perfect choice to decorate the squalid, run-down plantation house interiors and plantation site exteriors. He found the baby doll iron bed in a local antique shop, which became a featured prop in the film's set and playbill advertisements. The Silver Twins and Callahan were always on the set with Kazan and his cinematographer during cast camera rehearsal blocking shot, subsequent filming on every setup. This was a natural condition to a television art department team being a part of the cast and crew rehearsal and filming schedule day and night. When not with the film crew, they would be preparing the next scene film shot for the company move. Upon completion of the Mississippi filming, Callahan took the Iron Baby doll bed back with him to New York City placing it in his spacious and large West Side Apartments living room, a conversation piece. Kazan relied on Callahan's Southern upbringing and scene interpretation in his rehearsals and scene motivation. This professional scene relationship and experience secured the Silberts and Callahan's future alliance with Kazan's creative film assignments. Kazan took Callahan to Istanbul, Turkey and Athens, Greece as his production designer for America, America in 1963. Callahan won the 1963 Academy Award for Best Art Direction Black and White for his painstakingly accurate scenic set designs. And according to Carol Baker, she and everyone else who had worked on the film had no idea that the material would be perceived as controversial. It was believed that the main reasons behind the backlash regarded the seduction scene between Baker and Eli Wallach in which his character successfully attempts to seduce and arouse her outside the farmhouse. There was also speculation that during their scene together on a swinging chair, Wallach's character is reaching under Baby Doll's dress since his hands are not visible in the close-up. According to both Baker and Wallach, the scene was intentionally filmed that way because the weather was cold and Kazan had put heaters all around them. And this features Carol Baker's only Oscar-nominated performance. And Aaliyah Kazan and Carl Malden's last film together was this movie. And Andy Williams recorded a song from the score Baby Doll Cadence 1303. According to his producer, it was on its way to becoming a hit when the controversy over the film caused radio stations to stop playing it. And Aaliyah Kazan in his autobiography claims that Tennessee Williams only half-heartedly contributed to the screenplay and that it was in fact Kazan himself 
who wrote most of the script. He also reports that although he urged Williams to stay in Mississippi in the film's location for the duration of the shooting, Williams departed after only a few weeks because he didn't like the way people looked at him on the streets. According to Kazan, the film's final bittersweet lines uttered by Baby Doll to Aunt Rose Comfort were later sent by Williams as a consolation for his departure. And this movie was banned in many countries, such as Sweden, due to what was called exaggerated sexual content. This is the story of Baby Doll, a 17-year-old bride. Eighteen. In three days, she'll be 18. Now her husband's getting mighty itchy. So she. But not for him. Yes, it's true what they say about Southern girls. The dumb, fat husband. This is the South. Baby doll! Aren't you leave? Baby doll! You told a mouthful of lies to my daddy in order to get me. Get you? I ain't got you yet. I'm known as a wop that runs a syndicate plantation. Oh, what's that, from the Bible? No, the Mother Goose book. Baby doll! Oh, I've had some experiences here with boys that would just curl your hair if I told you. <laughs> this is the overheated world of Baby Doll. <laughs> I come from a very old country where it's tradition for each man to make his own justice. Baby doll, I want you to entertain this gentleman in the house. Well, you don't have to go all the way home to take a nap. You could take a nap here. Are you threatening me? <laughs> don't touch me. Please don't touch me. I don't like to be touched. Baby doll! Drive me along the river with all the windows open to cool me off. Feel its temper. <laughs> Eli Wallach in Baby Doll. If you like that one, we've got a lot more. Hotter than your morning coffee. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like, comment below, share with others, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Please come back to see the next one. Until then, bye for now, and be blessed.